Howdy folks. We'll get started at about five after. If you have any agenda items, or please add it to the meeting notes. If you can add your name, it'd be appreciated. Meeting notes have been posted to the Zoom chat. Hello, everyone. Hi, Akash. Welcome, Rich, Victor. Y'all were both on the Telco Music Group, I think, the whole time. Welcome, Hello. Oliver. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Taylor. Does anyone have anything they'd like to add to the agenda? Share my screen here. All right. Yeah, so if you can add yourself uh, to the meeting notes, would be appreciated. Those notes have been posted to the Zoom chat. I think they're also available in the calendar. Those who haven't joined this call before, this is the Cloud Native Network Function Working Group. We meet every Monday at 1600 UTC. I think this should say 9 a.m. Pacific, although there has been some talk about staying with the same time and moving with the time change rather than staying with UTC time. May put up a doodle poll for that. So it would be 8 a.m. Pacific, which I think is 1600 uh, BST England reference. All right, so um, we're looking at We'd like to complete our co-chair elections. Uh, we have a couple of entries, but um, if anyone else is interested in putting their name forward, or if you know someone who might be good and you want to reach out to them and ask them to put their name forward, help move this working group along. And 
such, then please um, have them jump on the mailing list and I can submit their name. There's a telco micro survey that CNCF has put out to try to get feedback and help with direction on things, what are people are having concerns and what they care about for telecom related items. Please uh, fill out this survey. Also post it in the Zoom chat so that CNCF can get that feedback. Big announcement um, for those who haven't seen already, uh, CNCF launched a CNF certification program. This is a beta release. Um, the, this is the actual website, but it, you can go to cncfio slash CNF and see a lot about that. I'll get back into it here in a minute when I give an intro. Um, let's see, CFPs are closed on a lot of things, but they are open for, um, let's see. Well, no, they're closed for Open Source Summit EU now. It's past May 30th and KubeCon North America closed this past Friday. So those are closed. The Open Network Edge Summit, CFPs, and Elephant's Developer Testing Forum. I don't know if either of those are open as of yet, the CFPs. Those are the events that I know about. Okay, so I'll jump into a little bit more about the certification. So if you're on the Tucker Music Group, this will be a repeat, a chance for questions, and if you missed part of it, here we go. So again, CNCF launched um, a certification at KubeCon EU. Uh, this certification is um, there to help network equipment providers, vendors that are creating CNFs to communicate that they are following cloud native best practices <clears throat> so that the CSPs who are consuming and utilizing those CNFs uh, know that. So that's what this certification is about. Similar to the Kubernetes conformance program that CNCF runs. This for the beta release, it has one level certified uh, by KubeCon North America, uh, probably, uh, we're going to be introducing multiple levels like silver, gold, platinum, uh, whatever those levels may be. Uh, there's actually already uh, test and a lot of the tests in place that would be going into additional levels are already there. So if you're running through using the certification software, and passing more of the test, then you're gonna be more ready for those uh, next levels. The tests are split into essential, normal, and bonus. And those will, as you hit more and more of those, get uh, past more and more, you will get to higher levels, be the idea. So again, you can go to cncfio slash cnf, start there's some terms and conditions and participation form that's when you get started the first time if you're submitting a, a new version of a product that comes out or maybe even new products um, as as you're coming forward you won't have to do everything again and again uh, you'll be focused on passing the test and submitting the results so there's a set of instructions for actually going through the certification, similar to Kubernetes. It's a self-certified type process. And when you share the results to be reviewed, you'll do that with a pull request. After passing review, uh, you'll be added to the landing page and the CNF, uh, the landscape. So the landing page for the CNFs is this uh, slash CNF, as well as the CNCF landing page with a, 
um, other projects and companies and stuff like that, but specifically in a uh, coming CNF, certified CNF area, and then you'll be awarded a badge. Take a quick look for those who haven't seen it at the how to get certified so that after you get through the those technical um, the requirements for <clears throat> terms and conditions there's some technical prerequisites which are pretty straightforward certified kubernetes cluster a linux workstation where you'll run the actual test software pointing a cube config at your kubernetes cluster and then you can run the five commands after you have a configuration file, which we have a lot of documentation for configuring your CNF. We, you download a binary release, pull in its dependencies, tell it to utilize your CNF with the configuration, run the cert command, and you'll get a set of results on the console output as well as saved into a file. You're going to use that file along with a few other things when you upload to the CNF certification repository. With a the results, that configuration file, some documentation about how to reproduce the results, and then the product information for what you're actually certifying. And this will be what's used on the landing page and in the landscape. You're not already familiar with test suite um, this is what's powering the certification it's a framework and set of tests that can be utilized for checking best practices in a lot of areas like security state compatibility and solvability these are things that we've heard feedback that are important in uh, csps so onboarding CNS and the compatibility and solubility, upgradability, configuration, those would tie in with that, as well as your lifecycle management with CNF. Um, security is a big thing, so that category split off there. This allows you to focus in if you're doing development and you have an area that your CNF focuses in, then you may have more features there. So you can actually run these set of tests in categories um, if you want to, or you can run the full set, uh, or you can just run the certification set because the, the test suite has a lot more than the certification itself. The test suite utilizes um, some upstream tools, including some from CNCF projects. If you're familiar with those, then you may already be familiar with some of the tests like litmus does chaos testing which deals with resiliency and other things we've had a lot of contributors to the test suite happy to have more if you're interested in whether helping with bug reports ideas or actually implementing and contributing new tests we'd love to see that and if you want to get started with the test suite before you actually try the certification, whether it's early for you in the CNF creation or you're moving over um, to Kubernetes already and you want to make improvements, we have a lot of documentation in the test suite itself. And we have a set of uh, instructions that you can follow using some example configuration files and example CNS to try out your environment and see how the test suite works before you get going with uh, your own CNF. Besides the CNF working group, um, we have a few other areas like the contributor call on Thursdays, which is more technical focused, some public Slack channels that you can join. And we have mailing lists for all of these, including the working group and test suite. Bring um, this back to the front. 
please re respond and add your feedback for the TOCA focus micro survey. So CNCF has that. And if you want to help with uh, adoption of the certification and these best practices, CNCF has a marketing toolkit around the certification itself. And you can schedule a, a demo if you'd like. Uh, you could shoot either of uh, Lucina or myself an email or scan this. You'll go to, I believe, the Calendly and we can talk with you in more depth about the certification and or the test suite. All right, any questions, comments? Oh, I see one in chat. So is there a need to use Helm or Helm charts? So the CNF test suite supports both Helm and manifest files. So if you have a directory with manifest files for the CNF, it can utilize that. There are tests that are around Helm, including um, linting and other ch various checks if you have readiness and liveness um, items and Overall, Helm, especially for a more complex CNF, I would say is recommended and definitely easier to use than just raw manifest. But right now, uh, those would be the two ways. Um, I don't think there's any essential tests on, that are Helm that would, um, if, if I'm recalling right, but I do believe that they're at the normal level. So that might affect like higher levels of, of passing. But if you have other, if you're using other um, packaging management software, I'd like to hear about that. Are there any other questions? Uh, okay, see another one in chat. How are these related to Sonoboy? Uh, so, no direct relation to Sonoboy. Sonoboy is a testing framework. Um, it runs the E to E test from the Kubernetes um, SIG testing. Sonoboy doesn't actually have tests itself for Kubernetes. And um, the similarity would be that the CNF test suite is a framework and you can write test. It actually has test included whenever you download it. But I guess similarly, you could externalize those tests and it actually does run some stuff like the litmus chaos test. So it's actually wrapping those. So that would be similar to Sonoboy, but it's not utilizing Sonoboy to run those tests um, itself. It's its own framework, its own software. Although a, a few, some of the items are maybe modeled after how Sonoboy works. Any other questions? Anything else? All right. Well, if you are interested in more, feel free to reach out. 
um, or go to the CNCFIO CNF page. And I think that's it on the agenda. Does anyone have any other items they'd like to talk about? And if you're trying to talk, you may be muted. No, Taylor, I, I don't have any topics to add to agenda. Thanks. Well, thanks, everyone. Uh, yes? For, um, for support, um, I know there is Slack channels, but they seem very quiet. Mm -hmm. um, is, there, is there any other way to get support or is it the only one? Sure. Uh, so you can open issues on the GitHub page would be one other place. And we have the mailing list that GitHub, you can, besides the Slack, if there's uh, actually, Lucina, am I forgetting is, was there a direct email yet for the CNF certification or test suite? Sorry, was it a question for me? No, I was asking, yeah, there's Please, an sorry. email address. I Yeah, so there's an email address I'm trying to, there we go. CNF certification at CNCFIO. So Thanks, is please. it for um, general support or only for reporting problems with the um, kind of the process? I, I thought that was only to report problems, not to get help to troubleshoot or things like that. That's the kind of support I'm talking about. So, I, I mean, wherever you want to get started on something like that, uh, general support, whether that CNF certification email, um, if you put something in Slack, then there will be someone within the group that will notice it. It may be a couple of days, uh, especially if it was over the weekend. Someone will notice it and probably get back to you that way. Um, if you're not looking at Slack a lot, you may want to message someone on their response with an email. Uh, Lucina's drop a Calendly, which, you know, it'd be another way to connect that way. But it, once you, if you are needing some general support, I guess, to going, the contributor calls would probably be a good one on Thursdays to get started. And if you need more of one-on-one, -on -one, then probably do that after, you know, you join the call, we talk some and we can uh, get that started. Let me share that screen again. So if CNF test suite, um, this is Thursdays at 1415 UTC. So that one's kind of an open call. And we've had folks at different, uh, doing different things, including like contributing new tests, joining those calls, and then sometimes messaging on Slack and then rejoining the calls. And then we've set up one-on-one -on -one to dig through and debug something if, if needed, but those are kind of as needed basis. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Um, if I may, I have another question. Yes. For um, companies like us, we have um, multiple CNFs, um, same company, but multiple um, products because the multiple business units. Uh, are these um, separate applications? Um, do we need to, uh, is it, I don't know if it's, um, there are fees associated with that. It's like, can you clarify how it works? Um, so each um, each uh, certification is covering a single product for CNF. So if there's more than one CNF, then you'd want to you you'll want to certify for each CNF, and that'll be the once you've gone through like there's some terms and conditions and a participation form. So once you get through all of that, then the, the first time any, any 
additional CNFs. So if you said you did it for one that was ready right now, and then you had another CNF that you want to certify. At that point, you're just going to take the next CNF, run through the certification process, and submit the results. You don't have to go through the all the other steps. Okay. Can you talk about the fees for that, please? Yeah. So the if you're a CNCF member, then you're covered. The mem it's a CNCF membership. Um, ties in with utilization of the CNF badge, CNF, certified CNF badging, and any type of logo usage uh, with CNCF. Perfect. Thank you. And the, there's a lot of information on membership and everything else that you can read off of the main page. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Well, the only thing that I was thinking is about denominations. Um, it seems like the only one who has been proposed him uh, is, is Jeffrey, right? So I don't know you want to uh, make a reminder. Yeah, thanks. Um, we want to get. Um, I put my my uh, name up again, and Jeffrey's is there. There's been a few people that have talked with me in Slack about putting their name into the list, but so far I haven't seen anyone else. I think Jeffrey lost access for a like a month before he could finally put his in. But yeah, we'd we'd like to get someone uh, someone else or multiple people if names. Put it as call for candidate. So go in and add your name if you're interested in being a co chair for the working group. All right. Thanks, everyone. Guess we'll see you next Monday. Perfect. Thank you, Taylor. Bye -bye. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Bye.